Number two in the standings, Chattanooga FC. Now, huge shakeup in Nisa over the last 24 hours. My name is Matt Levis, and it is an honor to be here calling your Maryland Bobcats. As I said last night, the league announced that the league would be moving to a full table format after San Francisco ceased operations for the season. Um, that means that your Maryland Bobcats are currently fifth in the overall table. Top six will make it to the playoffs, so they are still in contention. But Chattanooga, which was once first in the East, is now second overall, two wins behind first place Cal United. Now we've got an absolutely great matchup tonight. Chattanooga comes in 2-0 and over the Bobcats throughout the season, but Maryland has shown dominance at home. Just their last home game, they put on an absolutely dominant performance against Flower City, winning 5-0 with an absolute show out. Boone had two goals on top of Wivel Espinal. Actually, two goals by Espinal as well. As we watch the players now head out towards center pitch to get ready for the national anthem. This is Matt Levis from the Soccerplex, and we have a great show ahead of us. All right, as we get ready, let's see who will be starting for Chattanooga. In goal for them will be Kevin Gonzalez. And in defense, at number four will be Richard Dixon, alongside Frankie Martinez, number five. And number three, Greg Stratton. In the midfield, we have number 17, Christopher Bermudez. Number, uh, number 22, we've got Greg Taylor, or Taylor Gray. At number 25, we have in goal Kevin Gonzalez. We've got number 33, Alex McGrath. Number 99, Marcus Nagelstad. Number two, Tate Robertson. Number 28, Damian Rodriguez. And number nine, Colin Strath Striping. Now for your Maryland Bobcats looking to make a splash in tonight's game. Starting in goal, number 12, Felix Annan. Number 17, Elijah Amo. Number 25, Brandon Clegg. Number 23, Darwin Espinal. Number 19, Yaya Fain. Number 15, Richard Forca. Number 32, Manuel Gonzalez. Number 16, Davey Mason. Number 8, Jocelyn Pasayan. Number 94, making just his second start in Nisa play for the Bobcats after an injury early in the season. Number 94, William Joe Wangu. And at number 22, Andrew Wivel. Last time this Maryland team was at home, they put up an absolutely astounding 5-0 defeat over Flower City Union. Granted, Flower City Union is currently at the bottom of this now changed table. As last night, unfortunately, we said goodbye for the rest of the season to San Francisco, but the top six teams in Nisa play will still be advancing to the playoffs. Maryland controlling the fifth spot with six wins and six losses, one with three draws. 4-1-3 and three at home for the Bobcats, but impressively, Chattanooga is 5-1-1 one, and one on the road. This should be a very difficult match for Maryland sh because of Chattanooga's road strength. But we'll see what the Bobcats can do today. So we wait to get started here at the Soccerplex. My name is Matt Lewis, and it is an honor to be calling this game for you. As you all know, Adam called his last game last week, but I'm ready for some great soccer actions here in Maryland. As we get underway. Oh, what a beautiful move by Amo. Amo trying to attack, but Chattanooga will remain. Chattanooga has definitely been the dominant force in this East Division, no longer the East Division. But they maintain control through the start. I mean Rodriguez, but he will lose it. Maryland will start from the defensive side. And it's a big boot up the field. Just too far out of range for Amo, but Amo with the speed. We'll just have to fork it back up. Uh, it will be a whistle call, then it'll be a free kick for Chattanooga, Chattanooga. Will do their best to control this ball game. They are very dominant on defense, especially on the road. Have not, ooh, we have a big trip call. That was on number 23, 20, 
number 32, Manuel Gonzalez. Looks like that's Chris Bermudez. Slow to get up, holding that right leg. Gonzalez still holding that, looks like that right ankle. Looks like a very interesting and tough tackle, and he's still limping. Hopefully he can walk that off. McGrath will take the free kick for Chattanooga. Bit of a trick play, and he'll find Robertson. Robertson passes back to McGrath. McGrath will send it back to his side, Sterling. McGrath with some good footwork in the air. Oh, but it is stolen by Pisayan. And that'll be Espinal. Espinal looking for Amo. Amo showing the great speed, but a beautiful slide to move that ball away from Amo. We have a send down. That'll be towards Gonzalez. Kevin Gonzalez just too far out of range. Marlon with the free kick, looking for his best opportunities. Oh, sorry, the throw in. Oh, poor decision there, giving it right back to Chattanooga, right in front of the 18. Oh, but a poor pass, and it's going to be Davey Mason to clear it out as we will get a goal kick. Still no shots taken through the first two and a half. We'll have a go pick, goal kick. So number 12, Felix Onan. Onan has had a tremendous season. Of course, the native from Ghana plays for the national team. And we are going to get a free kick after a bit of a slide. And it's going to go the way of Maryland. Maryland is coming off a loss last week in San Diego. But again, their last home game was an impressive 5-0 defeat over Flower City. Let's see if they can keep this momentum at home. We're going to see a charge here from Chattanooga, but just can't get it into the mixer. Maryland controlling it in the backfield. I'm going to find Davey Mason all alone up the sidelines. Some pressure brought. Poseidon. Around halfway. Espinal. Oh, just loses it, but Poseidon tries to get it, and it's going to go back the way of Chattanooga. Both, our, both teams are playing very chippy, not letting each other really near a shooting opportunity. Only one real go towards the Maryland goal for Chattanooga. Maryland has not even made it into the 18 just yet. But there hasn't been any shots. There's been plenty of sliding thus far. Amo challenging Robertson. Robertson gets rid of it. Chattanooga. Pass it around side Robertson. Pass it up to Rodriguez. Rodriguez uh, looking for Robertson again, but it's going to be stolen by Gonzalez. For Maryland, Davy Mason goes backwards, trying to find a clear pass away from, that is, Alex McGarth. We are going to get a reset from the back of Maryland's defensive zone. And we're going to get a throw in for Davey Mason. Oh, and it's a beautiful pass out to Forka. Forka's got some room. Sorry, that's Amo. Amo with some room, but does not convert. It was a three on one in favor of Chattanooga. And they're going to get the ball back with a goal kick. Not a huge boot out to Tate Robertson. Dixon passes it out. Stripling finds Robertson. Chattanooga at a half field. It's a two on one, but Robertson's able to free it, and we are going to get 
An offsides call, perhaps? Wivel passes it back to Anand. Anand with a big boot to Amo, but Amo just gives it back away, and Chattanooga will reset. Kevin Gonzalez in at goal for Chattanooga. Chattanooga, as I said, has been very dominant on the road. Only one loss in the entire NISA season on the road. They have absolutely dominated in high pressure situations in enemy territory. And so far, they are controlling this game beautifully. Not let Maryland even have a shot or look inside the 18, and they are controlling it right now. The top of midfield. Chattanooga now brings it back over onto the offensive side. Dixon passes it back out, looking for a reset there for Stripling. Stripling passes it to Martinez, who then dishes it out to Bermudez. Bermudez will get it back off a touch from Taylor Gray. And we're going to have a throw in for Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Oh, and we're going to get a whistle. And they're going to redo the throw for Chattanooga. Looking for his open man. He finds Gray. Gray passes it towards Stratton, but Stratton will have to throw it back in. Stratton now finds Gray. Great, looking for Bermudez, but just a little too far, and we will get a goal kick from Amo. Sorry, Anand. Jocelyn Poseidon takes the short kick. Big boot up field by Andrew Wivel. A little too much juice on that one, and... Chattanooga will start again. Again, no real shots through the first eight and a half for Maryland, but they've also showed some strength on the defensive side. No clean shots for Chattanooga. Definitely some more opportunities closer to the net, but Maryland doing a good job to keep his high-scoring and high-flying team away from Felix Onan. Big boot from Chattanooga looking to try and make a connection to Damian Rodriguez, but just a bit too far. Yaya Fane finds Jocelyn Poseidon. Jocelyn Poseidon, a quick and easy touch to Davey Mason. Mason looks towards the middle. He's got Espinal. Espinal with a beautiful pass. It's one on one there. Oh, and a little bit of a misstep, but he controls it. And we're going to have. A rolling shot, no good there for Maryland, but the first real shot attempt of the night. Luckily, it's going the way of the home team. Home crowd tonight going strong. The Old Bay Brigade in strong numbers with their drums getting excited for this enormous matchup. Before last night, this was the team to beat in the East, but now with the new standings, every team is the team to beat. Currently one spot above the playoff cutoff. Oh, but a beautiful steal there. Espinal taking the ball right away, finds Andrew Wivel. Wivel sends it out wide. Here come the Bobcats. Wivel, oh, with a shot, but just off the leg, and he can't believe it. It's going to stay with Maryland off the throw in. Fane finds Davy Mason. It's a mixer into the middle. Oh, just too high for Amo. Chattanooga will take back possession. 
a beautiful look there for the Bobcats, but just a bit too high for Amo. Amo really getting up there for the header. But Davey Mason just put it a little too far out of reach. Chattanooga not moving super quickly. But now a big boot and just a bit too far away from Taylor Gray to make that move stick. He had some room in front of him. Wivel will now take it down the sideline. Oh, and he will get tripped up, and it will be a free kick. Looks like Wivel will end up taking it again. Finds Martinez. Yaya Fane. Some clean air ahead of him. Finds Davy Mason. Mason being attacked. Now Fane's got some pressure from McGrath. Pasayan finds Wivel. Wivel back to Pasayan. Davy Mason now at around the 18. Oh, and he's bodied. Great defense by Damian Rodriguez, putting all of his pressure to keep Davy Mason from getting that cross into the middle, showing the aggression that Chattanooga has to win this game and keep that road stat going. It's going to be a goal kick. Finds McGrath. Some pressure there from the Bobcats. Oh, now coming close to it. But Chattanooga still trying to get away from their own 18. Maryland midfield and offense and attack really showing some strength in defensive skills right now. It's going to hit off. It's going to hit off Rodriguez and it's going to go the way of Maryland. Davy Mason with the throw and he will find Yaya Fane. Fane taking it himself for a little bit. Finds Martinez. Wivel pressuring. Greg Stratton with the ball right now. Pass it out to Richard Dixon. It's a mix through the middle, but it hits off Manuel Gonzalez. And oh, it's a little bit of a shove in the back there. Looks like William Wagner. A little slow to get up. Wagner in just his second start since getting injured at the beginning of the season. Maryland will start with the ball. It's passed out to Felix Anand. Anand with a boot up to Amo, but again, too high over Amo, and it's going to go the entire length of the field. Chattanooga now with the ball. Showing some good pressure tonight. This is Bermudez now. Bermudez passes it off. Taylor Gray now attacking. But Wagnu is going to make it difficult. Poseidon puts himself in the way. Oh, and a beautiful clear there. Could have been a very potent and fast shot off the foot of Damian Rodriguez but just saved by the Maryland defense, making sure Felix Anand doesn't have to work too hard to make some miracle saves. It's going to be a corner kick taken by Chris Bermudez. He's got Alex McGrath right there, and that's who he will dump it off to. Pass back out to Bermudez, up top. To Robertson, Robertson now looking over to Taylor Gray. Gray at the top of the 18 now heads into the box, but then forces it back out with a beautiful behind back foot pass, just a little too far over the head to make that easy chip and work. Felix Anand chooses the arm. He'll find Yaya Fane. 
Vane going to Old Reliable, Davey Mason. Oh, a beautiful pass over the back to Poseidon, but Poseidon can't control. It's a three on one there, but somehow Chattanooga will come away with it. Or will they? Martin or Gonzalez gets rid of it, passes it out over to. That's Wagnu, Wagnu. Can't hold on to it, and it's going to go the other way. Some real speed right there by Chattanooga. Gray. About 23 yards out. He's going to send it back out. Reset there for Chattanooga. He's going to find Gray streaking across the middle. Oh, and a beautiful move there by Andrew Wivel to send it back out. We are going to get, I believe, a corner kick. It'll be taken out by Alex McGrath. Both teams showing great aggression and speed from both sides. A lot of ground play. This should shape up into a very competitive game for the two sides. Both chasing those playoff spots. Both currently in the standings. Maryland will need to show some more late season strength if they want to hold that fifth spot. Chattanooga, as we said, they were first in the East, but after the unfortunate loss of San Francisco, they're now second in the overall table of Nisa. Amo now at the top. He's going to take it himself. And he tries to put it into the mixer. And it will ricochet off the foot. Chattanooga, and we will get a corner kick. Espinal. Looks like he will be taking the kick. Davy Mason nearby. And shot into the mixer just a bit too high. And Amo just watches it go out. We're going to get another goal kick there. Sorry, corner kick actually. Like it must have went off just ahead of one of Chattanooga players. This corner will be taken by Manuel Gonzalez. Amo the furthest back. We've seen him get up there tonight and try to make it work. And it's again too far of a shot. Forka was there to take it back, but now Taylor Gray with a great burst of speed. Being challenged by Wibble right now. Gray taking it himself. He's looking into the middle, but it's hit off. Maryland, and it will be taken back out by the Bobcats. Amo has had a great season for the Bobcats. Nine goals through 12 games. Not to mention Darwin Espinal with 12 goals through 13 games. Now this is Espinal himself uh, looking to try and get in there, but it will be then taken back out. This is Greg Stratton. Got the ball from McGrath. Passes it into Martinez. Chattanooga definitely letting Maryland into the box more than they did through the first 10 minutes. We are now 20 minutes of play in. Still tied at zero. These are two teams with large fan bases. Really enjoying being part of NISA. Oh, and it was a failed attempt to get a clear shot for Tate Robertson. Just a little too much off the foot. Darwin Espinal now. Being challenged. He's got Amo. Can Amo control it? Yes, he can. He's going to look to Wagnu out on the side. Put 
just saw him. Finds Davey Mason. Davey Mason's been making himself very present on this left wing right now. Oh, and he just puts it a little too far out of range for him. And it's going to be a goal kick. McGrath finds Robertson on the wing. And it's going to be a send down the side. I think a little too far out of range, though, for Damian Rodriguez. And we're going to get a goal kick on the other side. On him. Find Sane. And a big boot up. And it'll be sent back the way of, oh, Maryland able to control it off of the header from Stripling. This is Espinal. Oh, and just a bit too far to the left. Didn't even look like he was trying to make that shot. Looked like he was trying to find Amo. But from our box, looked like it could have gone in. Just a bit too far to the left. We'll get another goal kick. This time it'll be starting with Stripling. Chattanooga. Not looking to push it too early and too quickly. Because they know they've definitely got the upper hand on these road games. Only one loss all season on the road. Not an unimpressive feat. Dixon. Passes it to midfield. To Bermudez. Bermudez, on though, could not hold on, and it'll be going back to the Bobcats. And the Bobcats can't hold on, and it's going back to Dixon. And we'll start it again. Dixon with a send of a too far away from Damian Rodriguez. Fane. Pass it out to Davey Mason. Davey Mason back into the middle. Find Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Fane now with the ball. Marlon played a very similar approach, knowing the length of this game and how important just getting a 1 0 lead over this team can be. They're going to get a whistle, and it's going to be a free kick for Chattanooga. Chattanooga now at midfield, but they will send it back to Stripling. Stripling will send it over to Martinez. Martinez will send it back to the net. Finds a Robertson. Oh, I'm just too far. Robertson really trying to extend that leg to control it, but it's going to go back to Maryland. Davy Mason will take the throw in. He'll find Gonzalez. Gonzalez back into the middle. Poseidon with a beautiful touch. Wibble. Oh, and we have, a we have a Bobcat down holding that left leg. Oh, but he will be quickly to get up. That's Davey Mason. Luckily, he's quick to get up. And it'll be a free kick for Maryland. Gonzalez looking like he's going to take it. But Mason is alongside. And they're going to redo the kick. Passed it to Wivel on the first attempt. Let's see what he ends up deciding. He's got Poseidon. And he's got... He will pick Poseidon back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez will drop back find Fane. Fani with a big chip, up pitch, but it's just too far, and I'll go back to Dixon, finds McGrath, oh, just too far away from Dixon, Robertson, so Dixon will lose it there, 
challenged by Wongu, but Wongu can't hold on himself. Amo showing some speed to get back, though. Dixon at just before midfield passes it back. Martinez pushes it off and back to Dixon. Finds Robertson. Gonzalez now on the sidelines. Moves into the middle. Finds Robertson now out on the right wing and it's going to be thrown out of bounds and we are going to get a throw in. Robertson will send it up to the top of the key. That's Dixon. Dixon sends it back out to Robertson. Robertson. Oh, Marilyn was saying that was offside, but game continued. Lucky to get away with that one. Chattanooga. Now at the top of the key. He'll find Robertson on the wing. A chip shot looking for Rodriguez, but it will not go. Espinal now fighting for it. Oh, getting very aggressive. Stripling will go to the ground. No call on that one. Just some good, aggressive defense there to steal the ball. But Chattanooga will take it right back. Robertson. Sorry, Dixon. Now that is Taylor Gray getting it back to Dixon and back to Gray. Now back to Dixon. Chattanooga will try to switch the field. Stripling. Finds Bermudez. Bermudez. Robertson asking for it and gets it. He gives it right back to Bermudez and back to Robertson. Dixon. Up top, middle of the field. Passes it out to the wing. Robertson settles. Oh, and we're going to probably get a push. That was from Emmanuel Gonzalez. He doesn't know what he did wrong. Well, we certainly do up here. That was a pretty blatant push there in the back. On Rodriguez. Taking his time to get up. Looks like he's just fixing that right sock. We should get underway very shortly. McGrath looking like he will take the free kick for Chattanooga. A very dangerous positioning here, but Maryland has defended well against Chattanooga coming in from the wing. McGrath stands us. Alongside Bermudez. Let's see who takes this. This shot towards the net. Oh, it's going to be a trick play. Beautiful cross in by Gonzalez, and it's a goal! Chattanooga FC. What a shot off the beautiful cross. Chattanooga will take a one nothing lead here at the Soccerplex. Goal was scored by number 17, Chris Bermudez. They are 30 minutes in, and now Maryland has their backs against the wall in front of their home crowd. They know this is a team not to give an advantage to at home. Only one loss on the road for Chattanooga all season. Maryland is currently 0-2 in league play against them. Maryland will need to move quickly with just 15 minutes left in the first half. But we've seen some strong defense and some strong attacking from both sides, including the Bobcats. And we get underway after that goal from Bermudez. Gonzalez finds Amo. Amo tries to stamp it down, but just can't. Giving back to Wibble, Wibble. Oh, looking for Wagnu and just can't make that pass work. And it's going to go back to Chattanooga. Chattanooga taking their time. Big boot over the head of Richard Forca. 
and right to the hands of Anim. Wagnu finds Wivel back to Wagnu. Oh, but Wagnu can't hold on, and it's going to go back to Dixon. Dixon pushes it back out. Martinez back to Dixon. Robertson now at the wing. Maryland gave up a goal from this exact position earlier, but now they can show some good defensive strength. A roll there by the goal scorer. Maryland containing control. Forka now sends it back up to Wagner. Wagner finds, I was looking for Wibble, but keeps it for himself. Martinez finds Amo. Amo tripped up, but ref says that's clean. Rodriguez. Oh, and a very unpopular call by the fans. That's going to go the way of Chattanooga. Chattanooga in control now. McGrath passing it back and forth. Oh, and a no call. Oh, they will do the call. That was a very blatant push by Martinez. Sorry, that's Espinal. Fans loving it, though. Wibble charges up. Martinez now. Passes it back to the net. Keep it to himself now. Oh, it was a good idea to send it to Taylor Gray, but it's intercepted by Maryland. Wibble finds Wagyu. Brandon Clegg finds Wagyu again. That's Darwin Espinal, team's leading scorer, but he will give it away. McGarth. Robertson at the key. He looks down. Rodriguez can't do it. And oh, off the crossbar. What a lucky break there for Maryland. And the another save. Oh, and oh, Lord. That is absolutely thrown to the ground there. Goes Darwin Espinal. Colin Stripling. Almost picked up and threw down. And he is going to get a yellow card for that. Bermudez can't really question that. He's so vividly threw Espinal to the ground. Some dirty play after a lucky break there. Hit off the crossbar for Chattanooga. Then on the, on the rebound shot, Felix Hanen with a great save to keep this at just a one-score goal. Yaya Fane getting into some words with the ref. Ref tells him to get on with it. Fane will take the kick. Finds Gonzalez. Back to Fane. Fane swings it out to the other side of the pitch. That's Richard Forca. Wibble with the ball, and he's pushed down to the ground, and it's going to go for another free kick for Maryland. This one will be taken by Espinal. And it's a boot. Oh, just too far. 
and it will be another goal kick. It looks like it was in, it was just ricocheted off of one of the Chattanooga defenders. Brandon Clegg had the best chance there for that header, but just a little too high up and away to make that work. Espinal in the corner to take the kick. Davy Mason alongside him. They want to do something cheeky. We're going to have an injured player down for Chattanooga. That looks like Chris Bermudez. Bermudez, only scorer of the game thus far. It's only his fifth goal of the season. Only played in this his eighth game. But making an impact early. Still on the ground talking with team trainer. The clock continues to tick here with Maryland Soccer Plex. We will get a corner kick here from Darwin Espinal. We're just waiting to make sure Chris Bermudez is okay. And he is up. A little limp in his step, but he's ready to go. Oh no, he will be heading off the sidelines. Never a good sign for your team's goal scorer on the night. We hope he is okay. But we will now get back underway. Goal kick, sorry, corner kick on the way from Espinal. Espinal puts it into the middle. And not enough height to get it over the first defender. Still not on the ground. Davy Mason charging at Rodriguez. Espinal now. Finds Wibble. Wibble. Puts a shot towards Amo. Oh, just can't make it work. And it'll be a save. Chattanooga. Oh, and now Chattanooga. This is another injury. This one for the goal scorer. Or for the goalkeeper. Number 25, Kevin Gonzalez. Went down to make that save. And just sort of laid down there for a minute. Still on one knee. Very bizarre injury, no contact, just sort of wonder if he just knocked the wind out of him on that jump to the ground. Slow to get up and definitely has a limp in his step. Oh, and he's he will go back down to the ground. Never good to see a non-contact injury and we will get another trip from the medical personnel. That's now what will likely be two Chattanooga players out of this game, or at least out for this half in about two minutes' time. Not the break you want to see, especially with the lead now probably looking to a backup goalie. Tonight's backup for Chattanooga is Alec Reddington. We will likely get some more line changes. Both teams using this as a water break. Ref blows the whistle. And it looks like Kevin Gonzalez will stay in net. Still just hobbling around, getting some sprints in. It's 
Now coming on in the place of coming on for Chris Bermudez following his injury is number seven Ian Sierra. Chattanooga lucky to still have the goalie in play. And we will get it going, and that is Robertson. Um, it's going to be a kick back for Maryland. Fane finds Gonzalez, who then passes it out. Huge boot there towards Davy Mason. But Robertson will win that battle. Rodriguez now trying to outrun. Oh, what a slide by Jocelyn Pasai, and it will stay with Chattanooga. But a great stop there to really show his dominance. And a clean one at that, too. Beautiful work there. Robertson will take the throw in and a boot up towards Gonzalez. Ooh, and a slide. And they're from, I believe that's Davey Mason. And it'll be a goal kick for the Bobcats. Quick pass out to Fane. Fane. Ah, oh, just a bit too far out of reach for Brandon Clegg. That's going to be a boot up. He's got Amo. Amo getting up, but again can't win the 50 50 ball. Chattanooga now pushing down. That's Greg Stratton. He's going to look out to Gray. Oh, but Gray loses it off the foot of Wagnu. We're going to get a corner kick. Chattanooga looking to capitalize their one goal score on the night. Currently sitting on the bench after bit of a tumble but let's see who else on this Chattanooga team can make something happen big opportunity here quick pass out and it's going to be intercepted there but they will ball will finally end up being controlled by Darwin Espinal who finds Martinez looking for Amo, but just can't connect on that one. Now it's Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to work Fane, but Fane will not let him get the between the back, between the legs move there. Wivel. So that's Martinez. We'll find Mason. Espinal looks for Mason. Davy Mason back in towards Espinal. A shot. Oh, and just too far to the right of the net. Had the power, had the leg, even had what looked like enough bend to it, but just not enough to hit the back of the net. Chattanooga escapes with another break, but we've got another Chattanooga player on the ground. This is Colin Stripling. He's on his knees um, and not looking to get up. Suspect medical staff will be coming out shortly. Getting some consoling there from Kevin Gonzalez saying, hey, I just got through that injury. You got this. Let's go win this game. And he's back on his feet for a Chattanooga goal kick. Chattanooga with one substitution so far this game. Maryland has not used any of its allotted substitutions yet. Those likely to come in the second half. We are now at 45 minutes waiting for the call on extra time. But we keep going until then. 
Greg Stratton. Oh, it looked like he might have had some clean air to get that through, but some great pressure there by Wangu. And it's going to be a throw in for Chattanooga. This one taken by Ian Sierra in for the goal scorer, Martinez. Sorry, will be a free kick. Sarah passes it back out. Finds Gray. Gray getting some pressure from behind by Wagyu. Pasayan tries to push it away out of there. And it's going to go the other way. It looks like a handball, maybe. Sane. Sends Davy Mason upfield, says, I got this from here. Oh, and Amo breaks his own ankles trying to get that ball. Espinal charging. Graham Forca. Forca on a two on one there and still can come away with the ball. And it's going to go back to the way Maryland. Wangu finds Wivel. Wivel out to Pasayan. Pasayan sees Davy Mason. Holds back, finds Amo. Amo with a stutter step. Davy Mason out at the wing. Back to Amo. Pasayan sending it the wrong way. Clegg finds Forca. Into the mix, that's Espinal. Espinal, team's leading scorer. He'll find Gonzalez, and that will be a very high arch pass. Davy Mason, oh, just loses control. That was a great opportunity there to make something happen right before halftime, but now it's going to go back to Chattanooga. Still no word on extra time. Davey Mason finds Gonzalez. Gonzalez looking out to Wongu. And they'll give it right back. Zero. Back to Gonzalez in net. Robertson now with control. He's looking for. Looking for Rodriguez. Rodriguez has been dangerous down that sideline tonight, really showing the speed advantage he has. And that is going to be the end of the first half here at the Maryland Soccerplex. Charlotte, or sorry, Chattanooga in the 36th minute with the one nothing goal going into the locker room. It's been a dominant performance on both sides. But Chattanooga able to capitalize early. This is Matt Levis. We'll see you after halftime. The youth teams are now off the pitch and the refs are now back on. We are ready for the second half of play here at the Maryland Soccerplex. Chattanooga FC currently has a 1-0 lead over the Bobcats. I'm Matt Levis and welcome back to this very exciting second half of soccer. Great attendance show out tonight. The stands are absolutely packed here at the Soccerplex. Big game for Chattanooga and for Maryland. You're just joining us. Standings look a little bit different today after the surprise announcement that San Francisco would be seizing operations. We've now moved from two separate divisions to one full table for the eight teams in the league. Chattanooga currently second on the table. Two games shy of first place, California United. Maryland in fifth right now. Top six teams will make the playoffs. Some changes for Chattanooga. We're going to get a new goalie. 
for them. It will be Alec Reddington. Last half, we unfortunately saw a non-contact injury for goalkeeper Kevin Gonzalez. Did play a good half, but looks like he'll be taking the sideline for the second half of play. Maryland will start with the ball. Chattanooga. Also Bermudez, who was also taken out at the end of or the middle of the first half due to an injury, he is replaced by Ian Sarah. Sarah did play in that second half, and he will continue as we get underway here at the Soccerplex for the second half. Maryland starts the ball. Forca to find Amo. Amo shown his speed and his jumping ability tonight, really get it up there, but nothing has seemed to land for them. Wibble now. We'll pass it back to Forca. Forca. Out to Wangu. Wangu again making just his second start since his injury at the very beginning of the season for the Bobcats. And it's going to be shot up into the middle, but it's just wide. Alec, sorry. Maryland will start back at the key. Forca. But it'll be intersected. Gray will now look to Rodriguez. Rodriguez takes it back in the middle, finds Gray again. Looks to Saro. Saro passing it all the way to the far side. That's Robertson out there. going to be a throw-in for Chattanooga. Oh, it'll be intercepted again by Maryland, but again back into the feet of Colin Stripling. Forca now. Try and clear it out, but it is taken back by Chattanooga. Only to be taken again by Wibble. Wibble keeping it just in bounds. And we'll find Amo. Oh, and Amo gets tangled up with Martinez. Frankie Martinez will see a yellow card. Amo shaking it off. Gonzalez will take it from about 40 yards out. The crosser, he's looking. Amo is there to get the rebound. Looks like he was looking for Wongu. Mixer, but cannot make it work. And we are going to get a corner kick. This one will be taken by Wivel. Espinal puts it into the mix, and it's a goal! Goal! Bobcats, and they tie it at one! Jumping into the air in celebration! And the fans are on their feet. What a goal there! Goal there by Brandon Clegg. That is... Very important goal, Clegg having a great season. And that is his second goal of, that is his third goal now of the season. He is typically a defender, but showing his skill all over the field. Forka now intercepted, but it is given right back to Gray. Gray. 
with some footwork, finds Martinez. Martinez tries to settle the score back to them, but just ricochets off the chest of a Bobcat. Chattanooga will start at the top. Dixon, send it out towards Robertson. Robertson will let it go out of bounds. Give it to Rodriguez. It'll be taken back by Maryland. Amo all over the field tonight, really showing his true speed. And it's going to be a throw in for Maryland. And it looks like they're going to have him do it again. Maryland will start it back with Anon. Finds the goal scorer Clegg, putting Maryland back into this game after being down for the last 20 minutes plus halftime. Getting this enormous crowd going. The Old Bay Brigade in full attendance tonight. Maryland now back on the offensive side of the ball. Poseidon with a good slide there to send it out to Espinal. Espinal sends it back to Forca. Wivel now has the ball. Sends it back to Clegg. Clegg with a big boot down the sidelines. Oh, uh, and it will be. It will be converted and finds Amos in the middle. Amo using that speed, trying to get a clean shot, but just can't. Great defensive stance right there. Mark Gonzalez finds Wivel. Back to Forca. Forca will send it back over. Amo, oh, just outruns himself a little too much. Poseidon charging at the ball. Fane taps it to Gonzalez. Gonzalez sends it very far back to Forca. Now with the ball. And he's going to boot it back up. Oh, just not enough leg to get it. Davy Mason. Martinez passes it back to Reddington. Now to McGrath. McGrath finds Stripling. Stripling. Staying on the defensive side right now. Maryland working them in their own box. Oh, just a little too fast towards the ball for Wimble. Greg Stratton now with the ball. Oh, and it, we will get an offside call there. Gray was hoping to make that clean shot towards the goal, but just a few too many steps in front, and we're going to get a free kick going Maryland's way. 1-1 with 52 minutes into this very exciting matchup. Again, there is no East Division anymore after Bay City sees operations, but both these teams are currently... In the playoff picture, Maryland in fifth. Top six, of course, make it so they would need a statement win like this to really cement themselves as a power in this league. Maryland. Here's the ball. Wivel trying to make it work. Espinal with the rebound, but it will go back to Martinez. Martinez then passes it out to Stripling. Stripling. Sends it long towards Rodriguez, but it's just too far. Maryland with the ball now. Running towards the ball. Marks Gonzalez. Passes it back to Anon. Anon having a great season for Maryland. Sends it deep into enemy territory, but just a little too far, and it's going to be taken back. That's Greg, sorry, that is Frankie Martinez. He'll send it back to Reddington, back to Martinez, and back to Reddington. Martinez now. Oh, just misses a big boot opportunity there. 
Maryland on the charge. Oh, but they run into each other. Wibble now on the sideline. Getting worked by Gray. Tries to clear through Stratton, but can't. Going back. Gray now. Oh, but a beautiful stop there by Fork. It'll send it out of bounds. It's going to stay with Chattanooga, but a great job at foiling that great plan. Chattanooga with the throw in. Stratton now. It's going to look towards the middle. Dixon almost takes it from him. And in that, Maryland almost takes it back on their side, but it's going to land in the feet of Sierra. Now Gray. Gray has shown his speed all night. And that great footwork finds Sierra. Oh, and he's tripped up. Oh, and that's going to be a yellow card for Manuel Gonzalez. We are going to get a big free kick opportunity just outside the 18. This shot is likely going for goal here. Maryland will make a wall. Clegg he had his back turn. Gleg and Fane. Fane will be with his back turn. Trying to confuse him. Taking the shot will be Ciro. But Marcus Nagelstad also alongside. Let's just see who takes the boot. This one's likely going for goal. Let's see what magic Felix Anand has got up his sleeve right now. To be taken by Nagelstad, and it's way too high. Right over the crossbar for Nagelstad. Had a very clear opportunity for the net. Just too much power on it. And it's going to be a goal kick. Felix Annan coming away unscathed in that ordeal. Nagelstad just standing there in disbelief at that. Annan sends everyone out. He's going for a long ball. Amo looked like he could get it, but it's going to go to Mike. And then over... To Esmeral, back to Amo. Amo, three on one, and he still comes away with it. Oh, and a big boot, but just too far to the right. Amo, with a great opportunity in double coverage there. And he's able to get a decent shot, just a little too far to the right. It's going to be a goal kick. Amo now charging. Martinez sends it to the side. Chattanooga reversing the field. Rodriguez finds Cerro. Cerro with a chip. And it's going to be an offsides. Offsides in the box. Tough break there for Chattanooga. Did a great job to push up into the 18. Just a few too many steps too far. Maryland will now take it. Davy Mason on the sidelines. Sorry, that is Espinal. Sends it to Gonzalez. Over to Brandon Clegg. Clegg charging up from defense, but just misses it. Rebounded back to Forca Forca. Sends it towards Espinal. Wivel. Then back to Espinal. Now back to Forca. Oh, too tough of a tap there for number 33, Mike. Chattanooga with the throw in. It's going to go to Nagelstad. Nagelstad passes it out to Sarah. Sarah sends it backwards. 
Martinez sends it back to Cerro. Cerro, now to Gray. Gray, can't settle, and it's gonna go back to Maryland. Martinez. Sorry, that is Espinal, charging by Mike, two on one. But he's gonna head out to Gray. Gray now with some clean air. Forca putting the pressure, but he has a little misstep. Gray with a charge. Finds Saro. Then to Greg Stratton. Stratton, pass back to Saro. Saro is going to look for man, but it looks like he's going to take it himself in. Good pressure there by Forca. Oh, and a beautiful takeaway there by Gonzalez away from Saro, but not enough leg to get it to Amos going back. Chattanooga, McGrath now. Not really giving it to Sarah. Oh, but a beautiful pay. McGrath is going to have a clean shot, but a beautiful stop there. Yaya Fane coming from nowhere to get in front of that free send opportunity. We will get a corner kick, but what a great stop for what surely would have been an easy goal for Chattanooga. Sarah now passes it out. Robertson at the top of the key. Finds McGrath. McGrath sends it out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez sends it to Nagelstad, but Nagelstad can't contain. And it's going to be sent out. Espinal now. Maryland. A three on two situation. The stripling now runs back to cover off Amo. Amo will lose the ball and it will go back towards Chattanooga. Long ball there for Chattanooga. Just a bit too far out of range for Rodriguez. And it'll go back to Maryland. Davey Mason now with the ball. Settles, finds Pasayan. Then Gonzalez. Now Espinal, now Espinal. Takes a shot and it's way too high. A little optimistic from far out and just a bit too much power off the foot of Espinal. Don Espinal, game's team's leading scorer on the season, seven goals, one assist through 12 games. But Brandon Clegg for Maryland, getting his third goal of the season to tie it up here in the second half. We are through 62 minutes, and it's going to go to Chattanooga. Sarah now with the ball, sends it back to Dixon, sorry, Martinez. Martinez now finds Stratton. We'll send it back to Reddington. Reddington reverses the field. McGrath putting pressure on Yaya Fane. Fane finds Pasayan. In towards Espinal, but they're going to call it off sides and it's going to go back to Chattanooga. Good break for them. Seen a lot of powerful shots from both sides, but still the score is tied at one. As we just saw, an absolute cannon off the leg of Darwin Espinal. Kick is taken out by Reddington. But Maryland will maintain possession here. Amo getting some pressure, but it's going to stay with the Bobcats. Davey Mason throws it into Amo. Amo's had a lot of opportunities tonight, just not been able to convert just yet. Brandon Clegg finds Wivel. Wivel looks to Martinez. Martinez now passes it back to Forca. Maryland will maintain possession. Off the throw-in. 
Wivel finds Mike. Sarah now with the ball for Chattanooga. Gray showing that speed. Nagelstad can't control it. Fane gets it back for Maryland, but he'll send it back to Anand. Find Gonzalez. A little too far for Espinal, and he's going to go back to Chattanooga. Chattanooga now. Puts the ball on the far side. Sends it up towards McGrath. McGrath sends it in towards Martinez and it's a foot race now for Gray and for Annan, but Annan's going to win that one. Sarah now. Team able to reset. Finds Gray. Gray with the stutter step. Sends it towards the middle, but Wibble can get it right out. Amo now bringing the pressure. Martinez gives the boot, but Forca is able to keep it away from Gray, but Cerro is putting the pressure, and it's going to be a free kick for Maryland. Gonzalez, and we're going to get a re-kick from Gonzalez. Finds Amo. Amo able to contain, goes back, and looks to Davey Mason, but just can't meet him. Robertson now passes it off. Back to Robinson. Gives it back to Stripling. Stripling's going to look to reverse field. That's McGrath, but he gives it right back to Martinez. Oh, and Alec Reddington was not in position. He's lucky to make that diving save there. Darwin Espinal saw a great opportunity and went for it. Just not enough power, not enough height on that. Caught him napping. He'll be happy to get away with that one. Now Stratton finds Saro. Saro double team there. But he'll be able to get it back. Stratton will pass it back to Reddington. Chattanooga. Looking to get their advantage back they scored in the 36th minute but have since given up a goal and tied it they have only lost one game on the road all season as well as one draw as it currently stands this will be just their second draw of the season but let's see how the next 27 or 23 minutes go in this game 67th minute overall to boot out of bounds and we're going to get a goal kick for maryland Anand waiting for his team to get set. Hoping to make the most of the changes of field. And we will finally get back underway, and we'll get another whistle to do it again. Chattanooga making a substitution. Out comes number 28, Rodriguez, and number 3, that's Stratton. Maryland now with the ball, but they will give it right back up. Who's Gray? Gray now. Oh, but he'll lose possession there. Maryland now with the ball. Clegg sends a deep shot. 
Amo now finds Wivel. Oh, but Wivel can't hold on. Saro. Gray now with the ball. Now a dive towards the middle, but great defense there by Davey Mason. On now for Chattanooga. In place is number 11 Ward and number 20 Jones. On and takes it from the goal. And it will be going back Maryland's way if they can control this. Some great pressure there by Chattanooga. Fane finds Davey Mason. Mason with some pressure from Jones. Mike now with the ball, passes it off. Pasayan, Pasayan, oh, just can't connect on the pass to Amo. Davey Mason gets it back. Espinal oh, does a little spin and it's gonna go back. Chattanooga. Cerro now. Gives it a little touch. Oh, just not enough speed there for Nagelstadt to make the breakaway work. Poor touch there. And it's going to go back to Chattanooga. That's McGrath. McGrath going backwards. Finds Ward. Ward with a boot. But it'll be cleared away. I'm going to bring the pressure to Ward. Ball still in play. Wivel loses it. McGrath finds Sarah. We have a player down for Maryland. And that's number 15, Richard Forca. Oh, very dangerous opportunity there for Chattanooga. And we will get the whistle called. Wivel not happy. Game continued. So that's Gonzalez. Game was continuing while Forca was on the ground. Gonzalez helping his teammates stretch out that left leg. Some great show of team teamwork and sportsmanship. And the passion that this team has for winning and these fans. Borka will get up. Ref singling him. Come back on. We will get a change. On the Maryland side. In for them will be Kalad Balagan. Number 13. We're going to have a throw in for Chattanooga. A little bit of confusion after the injury stoppage. Gray will take the throw in and we'll just send it back to Passat or to Anim. Anim will punt it. Finds Balligan. Oh, the bench looking for that whistle, but will not get it. Gray now. Looks into the middle. That's Nagelstad. Nagelstad can't convert this time. Mike. Oh, and we see some aggression against Balagon from and it's Richard Dixon. Maryland will contain possession. Wivel now. Wivel avoids the slide, avoids another man. Oh, but Balagon cannot stay on his feet with the ball going back. 
Chattanooga Gray. Cuts across. Look for Nagelstad. Oh, and it looks like they're going to call that for a trip. And we're going to see a yellow card come out. Yellow card there on, it's like, maybe Poseidon. So I know yellow card is on Balagun. Been for just two minutes thus far. Fifteen minutes of regular time remaining. Chattanooga will get a free kick. Again, in a similar situation they were before. Nail stat. Took the shot last time, went way too wide over the top. This time looks like they're either gonna give it to Ciro or McGrath. Ref prepping the wall of Bobcats. Big shot. Won't take the shot. It's going to be a cross. Oh, and just did not work out well. It was a good fake out. But Sarah just couldn't make it work on the cross. And it's going to be a throw in, it looks like. Now we will get a goal kick for Maryland. Annan sending everyone up. Espinal with some clean room. He's got two men to beat. Oh, but great defense there for Spritling. Reddington. Chattanooga. To send it out to Ward. Finds Gray. Gray will try to work Forca. But Forca will not concede that one. We're going to get another corner. Oh, we will get a goal kick. They're going to say that went off Gray. And in now sends it down. Oh, just not enough speed there to make that work from Balogun. Espinal trying to work Martinez. Fane. Finds Poseidon out to Mike. Mike with a shot. Too high and outside of it. It'll be a goal kick now for Reddington. Reddington setting up what looks like should be a very nice boot to about midfield. He went the way of McGrath. And it's going to stay with Chattanooga. Gray sends it into McGrath. Gonzalez sends it back out. Stays with Chattanooga. Ward in the McGrath. Back to Ward. Then he finds Gray with a beautiful behind the back pass, but it doesn't work. It's an offsides call. Gray getting caught out a couple times tonight on offsides. But when you have the speed like that, it's hard to stay behind this Maryland defense. Anand says he'll take it, sends everyone up, trying to get something going to take 
what will be just a second loss on the road for Chattanooga and would be another impressive win at home. Balagon getting a lot of body there from Dixon. And Will was going to take the corner. Espinal will take it. Sends it in. On the ground. Oh, and almost rolls in off the foot of a Chattanooga defender. Reddington able to stop it from rolling past him. Chattanooga will head back the other way. Looks like Dixon. Ran over Espinal a little bit. We're going to get a free kick for Maryland. Good starting position for them right here. About 40 yards away from the net. So far, Maryland's only goal tonight has been scored by one of its defenders. Up there right now, see Fane. Let's see if we can make it two for two off the free kick. Espinal with the boot, puts it high. Oh, and right into the hands of Reddington. Great save there. Chattanooga will now take back over, heading up the field. Chattanooga slowing the pace. Oh, Forga with a great diving stop there. Gets in front of Gray, but it's going to stay with Dixon and Chattanooga. Dixon now trying to reverse the field, but a great stance there. Just got down on one knee to stop that Poseidon. Oh, and a very wild shot off the foot of Balagon. Not really sure what he was going for there. Had way more daylight in front of him and just put it way too wide to the right. Reddington sending everyone up. Both of these teams are going back and forth in these long ball situations. Who can make it work? Reddington waiting for everyone to get in place. And off he goes. Tries to find McGrath, but Dixon will end up with it. Pass back to Stripling. We're going to get an offsides call. It was a good attempt there by Nagelstad to feed the wing, but just couldn't make it work. It's an offsides call. Chattanooga with a lot of missed opportunities this, this game off of offsides calls. Leg. Finds Balagon. Looks to Mike. Mike on the wing. Tries to work him. Finds Wivel. Wivel. Back inside. Oh, and almost an own goal. But it ended up being a save and it's going to go the other way. Micah Kinko. Did his best to get that clear situation. Was almost a foot from the line, but a great job. Quick check. Chattanooga will take in the throw in from Ward. Challenged by Espinal, and Ward will do it again. As you can see on the replay, Kikoye got so close to just getting a chip shot right in there, but just couldn't make it work. Oh, and, a, and he unfortunately will send the ball back after 
just a little too much room for Espinal. Ward will throw it in again. This time he's going for a big one. Nagelstad tries to send it over his back, but it's going to go right back to Annan. Annan now. He's got Bolag on there, trying to use his size advantage right there. But they're going to send it back. Gray versus Forkin. This has been a great matchup all night. Gray using his outright speed, but Forka using his physicality to keep him at bay. Ward now for Chattanooga. Looks inside. That's Saro. Saro breaks loose. But they are going to call that a foul. Looks like maybe Balion grabbed a jersey. It's going to be a free kick for Chattanooga. McGrath and Gray at the ball. Only two men on the wall. And expecting a cross. But McGrath will follow. Oh, and a big boot towards the sky by Saro. And we have a Bobcat down on the ground now. That looks like it might be Martinez. I'm sorry, Gonzalez. Sorry, that is Davy Mason coming all the way from the left wing to drop back on the defense. Looks like he might have taken a, a little swing as he's trying to rub his face. On him. Sends it out. Couple misses off the headers for Maryland. On and now finds Forka. Forka boots it. He sees Espinal, but just too far. Caught by Reddington out of the air. Now Ward. A reset with Reddington. Swings out to the right side. Martinez. Into the middle, but just too far. Brandon Clegg with a great header. Who can come down with it? And Felix Onan will make the save out of the air. He's got bowling on, but he will be taking some pressure on. It's a 2 on 1 for Bolagon with a third watching if he can clear him. They're pushing him towards the sideline. And Ward is going to force it into a goal kick. They're going to say it went last on Bolagon. We're going to get a substitution for Maryland. Number three, Samuel Solomon will be coming in. Richard Forca, who's been doing incredibly tonight to hold Gray at bay, will take the bench with just two minutes left in regular time. Likely to be a fair amount of extra time due to some injuries. Reddington. It's going to look towards McGrath. And it's going to go out and it's going to go towards Maryland. Minute and a half to play. Oh, um, we're going to get a bit of a trip, and that's going to be a yellow card. like a big collision there. Sam Solomon not taking very long to get a yellow card. Alex McGrath still holding that 
Left foot putting his cleat back on and just back to on his feet. You can see he's okay. That was a very big body to body slam. Just 30 seconds left in regular time. We we're waiting for Alex McGrath to now take the free shot. Likely to play some trickery with Gray alongside. Stripling it was looking like he was trying to lose the defender, but McGrath says, slow down, slow down. He knows where his legs can put this ball. The ref having to give a little talk to the wall. We will have three extra minutes of gameplay tonight here at the Soccerplex. 1-1, one, one, but with three minutes left, anything can happen. McGraw sends it out. Oh, too far for Ward. On him. Now with the ball. Koye could not settle, but the ball is still high in the air. Solomon off the head and out of bounds, and it'll go back to Chattanooga. And we're going to get, oh, we're going to get a penalty call. Ref said that was a little too aggressive for Sam Solomon in coverage. Chattanooga with another free kick opportunity. This one from pretty, par pretty far out. There will be five ju blue jerseys to choose from. The clock continues to wind down to the end of this game. McGrath will take it. No, he will not. Some trickery there. In the middle, Nagelstadt with the tap, but just can't make it work. Beautiful save there by Ann, and now Balogun. He's got Solomon to the inside. Oh, but he loses possession. Can he regain it? Yes, he will. Pressure there from two blue jerseys. And it's going to stay with Maryland. Wibble. Finds Clegg, the goal scorer for Maryland. Puts it in, but way too far out. Pasayan now controls. Looking for Espinal. He's got pressure from Cerro. Now it's Mike, but he loses possession. Now it's back to Cerro. Oh, and he goes over the back of Pasayan. That's going to be a free kick for Chattanooga. Here's Ward. Finds Gray. Gray now gonna be working on Wibble. Chipped it up, Cerro. Just can't make it work. Oh, and he's gonna trip up Hassan. On him. Will not have to worry where that lands because that is all there is from here at the Maryland Soccerplex. A great tie here for Maryland. They now improve to 6-3, 6-4 and 6. Chattanooga getting just their second road tie of the season. Is now going to be 9-5 and 3. Great goals tonight from Brandon Clegg. And, of course,
And of course, Damian Rodriguez, unfortunately, we lost him in the first half due to injury. But it's a great tie here. 